Magic squares, a vocabulary activity that can be used for elementary, middle, or high school students from all different walks of life. Mm -hmm. The richer. The poor. The eager learner. The not so eager learner. And even at risk. get tired of dull vocabulary terms and memorizing all those definitions? Sometimes even us as teachers get bored teaching it. Well, we have a solution. Let me show you. For example, we have this, a square, an ordinary doll box. But with a little bit of magic, those doll ordinary plans can become exciting. We will be using magic squares as a fourth grade review of vocabulary on the parts of plants. The plants. Hi, we're here today to demonstrate our magic squares that we're using for a fourth grade review of the parts of the plant. Although magic squares can be used in any of the three stages of the PAR framework as preparation um, to a lesson, assistance during a lesson, we chose to use it as the R, which stands for reflective. Caroline is here to demonstrate how you would use magic squares in a classroom setting. Okay, first, if you look up here, there are nine boxes, and um, to start out the activity, you probably want to fill out the first row or so with the students to make sure that they understand what they're doing. So on their paper, they're going to have an exact copy of this, and below it, they'll have nine definitions to which the words up here, the vocabulary words, match. So the first one, the first term is pistol, and they would look on their sheet and figure out which one of the numbers matches up with that and which definition goes with that vocabulary word. So the first number is six, which is the pistol is a tiny part of the flower that makes the eggs grow into seeds. So going across, we would fill out all of the different answers. And if the students did it correctly, their first row would look like this, and it adds up to 15. So that's the number that each row across needs to add up to, and each row going down. So at this point, you could give the students their paper, and um, you would do the first row with them, and let them fill out the rest by themselves, and they can self-check and make sure that their row going down this way adds up to 15, and their row going across adds up to 15. Coincidentally, it also adds up going diagonally, so this square is especially magical. relates to Science SOL Objective 4.4 A and B, and you can also use a variety of books um, to supplement the activity, plant books maybe, or have those displayed up at the front so that if the children aren't sure of what something looks like, maybe they can come up and look in the book. And as extension activities, you could do writing activities with this, they could draw plants and label the parts, and other things like that to check for comprehension instead of just doing this as a, as a review activity.